What we're trying to understand is how the bird exists in its environment and understand why it's declined and particularly what things can we do to, to fix that? You know, what can we do to bring the bird back to help its population increase? One of the things we've found out is like grazing has a really big impact on the resources that are available to the parrot in the landscapes where they are. We know that fire is really important because they rely on long and burnt spin effects in these landscapes to breed and to roost in. We've worked out that cats are a really significant threat to the birds, so managing cats in landscapes where there might be parrots or where there are parrots is critical to their ongoing survival. So the way we're going to get better information about cats is actually capture some using humane soft-jawed leg hold traps and we're going to attach uh, GPS tracking devices to them. And they're a real-time GPS tracking device that will allow us to know where the cats are at any moment of the day. And the whole idea is to follow those cats and see how they're using the landscape, where they're spending their time, how, how they move from one place to another um, in order to inform cat management activities about where those, you know, where time should be better spent, where, should we, where we should be deploying traps and, and the like. One of the things we know a lot about at, at Pullen Pullen uh, in that landscape is where parrots occur thanks to previous research. And so there's no way we're going to be catching and releasing cats right where the parrots are. What we're going to do is go to other parts of the reserve in very similar landscapes and we're going to do the work there. So we're going to capture cats, um, fit the, the GPS tracking devices to them, which are real time, and then we're going to release them and we'll monitor them really intensively. And if they look like going anywhere near the parrot areas, we'll, we'll be able to respond immediately and go out and remove those, those cats. So the second part of the project has really relied on getting out and trying to find more birds. We've done a lot of that in Western Queensland and what we're doing now is a lot of the same work but in other parts of the country where we know the night parrot used to live but where the numbers have also declined really significantly. We know that most of the places where night parrots are going to be found in Central Australia are going to be on Indigenous land. We also know that the people that are going to find the birds on that land are the traditional owners and the ranger groups that are out here. Because one of the most important elements of the recovery plan is where the recovery actions are going to happen, and we know that that's mostly going to be in the central deserts of Australia, it's really important that the recovery plan was started here with the traditional owners. Explaining to them the sorts of habitat that the bird might use and its ecology, helping them understand where on their country the bird might be found, has just been incredibly valuable for getting that process going because we now know where on their country the birds are likely to be found, where that survey effort can be undertaken, and they're the places where we're gonna find new birds and where the recovery of the night parrot is gonna begin.